Sky Control here checking in and if you are not subscribed or following along, what are you doing? The past couple days I was in Maui trying to increase my value as the drone guy. Couldn't vlog at all. I've been learning, been practicing, been training. I think I passed, I don't know. I gotta do some more towers by myself and uh, get everything acclimated, but I think I did good. Sorry, this is the only video I could have did today. Yee! And the inspections with the drone translates into photogrammetry. And photogrammetry is basically a 3D model of the structure or whatever you just took the pictures of. So in my case, it's like cell phone towers. Without sending someone up there, you could, a uh, physical human up there, you can just send a drone and that's safety first. And then it's also quicker because you can figure out what's corroded, what's eroded, what needs to be replaced without sending someone up there. That's gonna be me. And what I realized is that 80 to 90% of the flight is all automated. Only thing I gotta do is plug in my parameters, hit record, and then the drone does all the work. Once the drone comes back, I gotta upload it a certain way so that the guys that make the map have all the proper data in the right place, and then boom, the map is made, my job is done. To me, this is easy. Cakewalk, like following a surfer is way harder than some automated function on a drone, feel me? This is all going good so far. Shout out to my boy Alex Harper who hooked me up with the guy who needed a guy out here. So thanks Harp, you really helped me out. Yay! So all in all, this is very exciting times for me. I'm excited to start a new career that I'm in complete control. I technically have a boss, but I'm freelance, so I come into work when I want and I just have to do a job through those parameters. But still my own guy you know but the downside of this whole thing is that i might have to buy a car <laughs> i am bike life all day and i was saving money for a bike and now i'm gonna need a car to look around all this gear that i have not looking forward to that so these next couple weeks i'm gonna have to go buy me a cage i can't believe i just said that so if anybody on Oahu knows of any beater car that is a piece of shit and 100,000 miles plus and but will last probably for six months to a year, let me know because I need it and I'm going to buy it. Maybe I'll try an auction or one of those police auctions. I don't know, but <laughs> I need a car. Also... I'm on the hunt for all tail Evo because when I was in Maui, I got hit with so many authorization zones and we had to go through all this lance to get approval and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't have time for that. Ever. The guys there, they all had Evos and they just went doo -doo -doo, straight up. And I'm like, dang, that's the shit. Also, they even also the FAA is not even allowed to use DJI drones because they're blacklisted because they could be doing data sharing, sending their shit back to China. So they don't use DJI at all, government. They use Autel. So I'm gonna be looking for an Autel too because fuck geofencing. Like, I love DJI's cameras, I love their drones, I love their, you know, stick response, but that geofencing is a mother. But yeah, Maui was fun. I can't wait to travel. This job is gonna require me to travel all over the island, all over the state, which is different islands as well. And I don't know, man, it just, it just, it's learning is starting to feel good. You know, every time I learn something new, it's like, oh yeah, yeah. So speaking of learning i'm also learning um fpv i'm gonna be getting into that go check out some of my videos uh, on the sim i will be getting good and i will be one of the best but it's a beautiful day out and i gotta get out and find that action yes sir.